Now more than ever, it's important to stay healthy, and that includes a healthy mouth for a healthy smile. Today, we have oral health specialist Dr. Gary Glassman to share how important good oral health is and how to make it a part of your daily routine for a healthier life overall. Dr. Glassman, since the start of COVID, has been looking at this especially and seeing what patients are presenting. Nicole, I'm going to throw it over to you. People often don't associate their oral health with their overall wellness, and it's definitely um, connected, we'll say, right? Yeah, I could not agree with you more, Dina. Thanks so much. Um, people often ask me, you know, what what is the secret to to having a, a, a great smile? And I always say it's in the gums. And Dr. Gary Glassman is here to tell us more about the importance of that. Of course, gum gum care and gum health. Um, Dr. Gary Glassman, tell me, what has been the common, um, I would say, um, question for you during the pandemic, during this time? Nicole, there's been a noticeable increase in stress-related dental issues during COVID-19, and be it people grinding, clenching while they sleep, or even getting something, it's a phenomenon called mask, mask mouth, which causes dryness of the mouth, both of which can lead to gum disease. So drinking lots of water is important to rehydrate your oral cavity, but brushing with a proper toothpaste, like Crest Advanced Gum Restore Toothpaste, is really, really important. So I legitimately use this toothpaste and I have noticed a massive difference. Like you said, like mask mouth is, is a thing and this definitely helps combat that. But for people who are watching, they're thinking like, I don't have gum disease, what is it anyway? What do people need to know? Well, gum disease is also called periodontitis and it's a serious gum infection that without a treatment can destroy the bone that supports your teeth and lead to tooth loss. It's probably one of the most common dental problems and it can progress quite painlessly until you have a real problem. Now, a recently published study from Qatar found patients with severe periodontitis were at least three times more likely to experience COVID-19 symptoms and COVID-19 wow. complications. Yeah, including the need for assisted ventilation, ICU admission, and even death. That's really scary. What are some of the symptoms that people should be looking for? Because they might not well, know they have one, it. one, yep, swollen, red, purplish gums, gums that feel tender when touched, gums that bleed easily when you brush or floss, painful to eating or chewing, and also the, the teeth can actually move when you have periodontitis and you get bone loss accompanied by gum recession. And so that's really interesting that you're saying that because there's a lot of myths and misconceptions about um, gum disease. And one of them is that there are no symptoms, but that's obviously false. It is false because gum disease can often be painless and without noticeable symptoms. So it's important to make good oral care a habit at home. Now this new Crest Gum Restore Toothpaste helps reverse the damage along with floss and mouthwash. So you need to visit your dentist regularly where they can track changes in your oral health. And another myth that you were saying is that it, it doesn't affect any other part of you. Well, that's wrong because you said it's periodontal affects everything, right? Your oral health. It does. Gum disease isn't just bad news for your teeth. It's also linked to serious health problems in other parts of your body. Oral health is directly related to general health. And gum disease causes inflammation, and inflammation can wreak havoc on your health, especially with heart disease, diabetes, and also cognitive impairment. And this is, it's so crazy because I think this goes over people's heads. I mean, you just think that it's an isolated pain whenever you feel something like that. So um, that's really, really good to know. And hopefully people uh, learn something and keep that in mind if you're ever experiencing that or to avoid that, all of it. What are, speaking of avoiding it, what are steps that people can take? What do people need to know so that this doesn't happen and that people have good oral health and overall health? Number one, floss at least once a day. This removes plaque okay. and food that's beyond your tooth's breast reach. Number two, get regular dental hygiene appointments. Your dental hygienist can detect early gum disease symptoms if you see them on a regular basis. And number three, brush twice a day. And I would consider a battery powered or electric toothbrush like Oral BIO Power Brush. These can help reduce gingivitis and plaque more than manual toothbrushing. Is it because the vibrations kind of get out the, the nitty gritty in your, in your gums? Is that what it is that makes the difference? 
Yes, it vibrates, it oscillates, and it's way better than manual brushing, and that's scientifically proven. All right, good to know. Thank you so much, Dr. Gary Glassman, for joining us this morning. I really appreciate it. And I take this home for me, brush twice a day, and, um, and yeah, like I said, I, I really do notice the difference. So thank you very much. Excellent, great to be here. Thanks, Nicole. All right, guys, we have great news because BT and Crest are giving one lucky viewer a gum health care package that contains just all of that. Yes, exactly. Um, it consists of the Crest Advanced Gum Restore products. You can go to breakfasttelevision.ca and click on daily contests for the chance to win. Let me tell you, this makes a world of difference. You're going to love this. Enter at breakfasttelevision.ca for the chance to win. And don't go anywhere. We have more BT right after the break.